As the end of the year nears, students are preparing for end of the year tests, including those that will determine if they move on to the next grade or course level or what classes they'll be in as they enter high school. And that preparation was exactly the scene at Bossy High School last week as high school and middle school Algebra 1 students teamed up to prepare for the annual end of course assessment exams. Students from Bossy, Lodge, Washington Middle School and Glenwood Leadership Academy prepared for the Algebra 1 test together during an all day workshop during which they went over sample questions and even learned a song to help them remember important material. The students also learned important test taking skills and even taught each other a few things. Students and teachers say the day long workshop will make them better test takers and also helps them no matter what their grade level. We started out with a vision of being able to take our freshman Algebra 1 students and do some collaboration with our 8th grade Algebra students from our three feeder schools. At the beginning we did a lot of work problems with the high schoolers which helped us out a lot because knowing people that have been through this before really helped us out. Because they're in Algebra at their schools but we would help them if they haven't learned what we have. Some of the middle schoolers helped me on some questions. So today in our EVSC Spotlight, we're recognizing the Algebra teachers in the Bossy District for their collaborative efforts and helping their kids succeed. And we wish all of the students the best of luck on their end of course assessment exams. Now, Dr. Bertram, this show topic of this global education and globalization is very appropriate given the announcement that you made last week. And so I'm going to turn it over to you for the final words. Well, thanks, Jennifer. You know, it's been it's been quite a roller coaster ride the last few weeks. And but for the last several years, I have talked about globalization and the ability and the need for American education system to embrace globalization and global education. I think that's been very critical, particularly how we continue to compete as a country and making sure and understanding that our students aren't competing with the students sitting next to them any longer or even students within in Evansville or in the state of Indiana, but rather they're competing with children all over the world. So how do our kids compete is a big question I've been asking and things that you saw today with with globalization from Brent Beeler and Vicki Duncan's work with China and so forth. These are the type of things that have to happen. So when I think about things like STEM education, and something we've embraced in the EVSC with science, technology, engineering, mathematics. It was just a tremendous opportunity for me to be able to lead this on a national level, to work with schools all over the country, over 100,000 schools. We have 57 million children in the United States schools and private and public schools and it's just a great opportunity at the same time it's sad to leave this has been a great place for my family and it's been a wonderful wonderful experience here well we are sad to have you leave because your leadership has been excellent but you have given us a good groundwork so hopefully we can continue on from there and we all wish you the best of luck certainly you well know, thank you and we ha have several more weeks here so and we'll yeah. see everyone next wednesday as well on education <laughs> matters <laughs> absolutely that's going to do it for us today thanks so much for joining us and here's a look at what's coming up this week in the evsc have a great week